What's up, my people? Before we start the show, make sure you like the video, comment on the commentary, and subscribe to the channel. Become a part of the GVG family, because without you, there's no us. And as always, we thank you, and all praises to the Most High. Now let's get into it. Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Halle, back again. GBG Podcast, Detroit representative to the day that I die, east side in the building and all that good stuff. I hope you bless. I hope this message finds you blessed. What up, though? Y'all know what it is. It's GVG. is God versus God. It's the true God, the true Heavenly Father versus the deities and people and things that we worship and put in front of him. Y'all ready? It's already done. Let's go. Y'all know how I do. I get my points off the phone and then I go off the fly. It's time. So anybody that's been checking me out, we've been doing this Power of Prayer series. This is part four. Uh, when you get the time, go check out part one through three. Uh, what I will do is eventually I'll package all of them together and then you can watch them all the way through. You know, if you're that type, if you're not, it is what it is. I know we live in an ADHD world, but let's go. The Power of Prayer part four. This is about, basically, I want to teach you how to dive into prayer. I want to teach you what it's about. I want to teach you where we're going with it, okay? All right, so let's get it started. This is the power of prayer, part four. When prayers are answered before action, you need gratitude to sustain. Let me explain. So if you pray for something and it happens instantly or faster than you thought, or let's say faster than the work. What the Heavenly Father is telling you that for this prayer, I answered it, but the way that it happened is now you have to work to sustain it. You have to show gratitude and gratitude in this case equals your mission. So if I pray for Let's say something. Let's say I pray for a wife. And before I do the work to get a wife, he sends me a wife. So that's prayer, the seed. He said, okay, you asked for a wife. I'm going to send you a wife. So he answered the prayer. He gave you the blessing from the prayer. But now, in order to sustain that blessing, you have to do the work. I, I hope you can follow me on this. When you pray for something and it happens before you do the work, now you have to do the work in order to sustain the blessing. Now, when action comes before prayer, the blessing is waiting on the harvest. So this is for most, mostly business owners. I could put it in that category. A business owner who does work, they work and they work and they work and they build and they build and they build. Then what happens? One day you start to pray. When the work and the building comes before the prayer, what are most of you waiting on? The harvest. Peep me on today, people. When the work comes before the seed, the blessing is waiting on the harvest. Do you? Do you hear me on today, people? Think about this. You've been working your whole life. And then you start to mix prayer with the work after you have built it. What is most of us waiting on? The overflow. Think about what I just said, people. The prayer is the seed. The work is the action. And the harvest is what you're waiting on, the blessing. I hope somebody gets something out of this. I'll be trying to teach on today. I'll be trying to teach. Now we're going to go to this next one. When it's prayer, action, an answer. This is what most of us deal with in the world. Okay. The gratitude is the mission. The gratitude isn't just saying thank you. It's showing thank you with your, with your actions. So 
prayer action answer. This is when I pray for something and then I pray and I say, what is the action that I need to do, Heavenly Father? He gives me the action. He orders my steps. So from prayer to action of ordering steps and then the answer comes. This is where most people are in the realm of prayer, action and answer. The other two are different, but this one is what most people deal with on a daily basis. You, you, you pray for a job, but you got to do something to get that job. And then once you do what you have to do to get that job, then the job comes. So it's like praying, Heavenly Father, on the 16th step, I need a blessing. Can you give it to me? The Heavenly Father says, yeah, I'll give it to you. But first, you got to work and take all those steps to get to step 16. So what happens? The blessing is at step 16. You got to do the work and then he'll answer with the blessing. So for that blessing is in the spot. It's in the blessing place. Some some people are not getting blessed because they're not in a blessing place. They're not in a place of blessing. You're somewhere else. So you're not getting the full blessing. You're getting the pencil shavings. I hope they hear me on today, people. The blessing is the harvest of your seed. After the prayer, which is the seed, you have to meet certain requirements, which is the action or the work, for the answer, which is the harvest. Think about that, people. When you plant a seed, do you just plant a seed and walk away and come back a year later hoping that it bared something? No. What do you do? When you plant a seed, you can ask any farmer or any gardener or anyone who cultivates or does anything. When you plant a seed, now the work comes. Planting the seed was the easy part. <laughs> Planting the seed was the easy part, but now I got to water it. Now I got to till the ground. Now I got to make sure things aren't trying to kill it. Now I got to cultivate the leaves. Now I got to shape it. Now I got to wake up and do these rituals every day to get it to where it needs to be. So then it can spread out seeds and bear other fruit. Mm. Mm. You hear me? So the blessings that you are looking for or the blessings that you're getting in your life is based on the seeds you planted. And then it's based on the work you did after you planted the seed. I know this is this is rocket science to some people. <laughs> to some people it's junk. To some people it's really going to help them. But peep that. Your prayer is the seed. When you pray, you plant the seed. Now that the seed is planted, God gives you the action. Now I have to do what I have to do to make sure the seed grows into the harvest that he's trying to give me. I hope y'all hear me on today, people. Y'all think prayer is just, hey, uh, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, just give me a new car. I'll give you a new car, my child. Okay, so... Heavenly Father give you a car and then you drive off and say, you know, forget you. This, this is a big thing. Think about this. When the heavenly, like, okay, the other day, my daughter did some stuff she wasn't supposed to. Okay. She got in trouble. I prayed, okay, that she, you know, I prayed that the situation would work itself out. She comes home. The situation is worked out. No lie. And then what did I do? I went upstairs and I started to think. And I said, whoa, Heavenly Father, you answered that prayer instantly based on the need. So I can say thank you. I can do all of that. But now what do I do? Action. See, when you pray for something and it happens instantly, he's doing that because now you have to do something to show gratitude to thank him for the prayer. And it's not saying thank you again. You can thank him, but now you have to say, hmm, what do I do 
to make sure I'm showing gratitude for him answering the prayer. What did I do? Went downstairs, read my daughter some scriptures, prayed with her, talked with her, let her know some things. I had to continue the chain. I couldn't just be like, thank you for getting me out of this one. I was just using you. Ha ha ha. Fool on food. Shame on you. I fooled you. No. Nah. He answered it. So now I have to do my part to sustain the blessing. And my part is giving her the word giving her the reality, giving her all the steps of learning from her situation, of realizing that God will not be mocked. Therefore, teachers and deans and all in the school system will not be mocked. This is real talk, people. I know that this is out of the realm of most people, but when you're talking about prayer, this is a real thing to me. And there are steps that we have to go through. So I'm going to say this. Find out your order of operations to synchronize your seed, work, and harvest. What is that? So all of the examples that I gave you earlier, right? If your order of operation is seed, work, and harvest, that's prayer, action, and blessing. That's the order that it comes in. If yours is seed, harvest, in work. That's the order of your blessing. What's happening is you change, you interchange those words. Seed is prayer. Work is action. Harvest is blessing. So if you pray, which is the seed, and you get the blessing, which is the harvest, now you have to work to continue and to sustain what he's given you early. You get it? Now, if you are a person who prays and then you have to do the work and then the harvest comes, what you're doing is you're waiting on the harvest. So you got to keep working. You get that? So once you pray, you plant the seed and now you have to work and run and walk until you get to the destination of blessing. Oh, I think this is... I'm trying to bring it through in the spirit, and I think some people not going to get it. I'm really trying to put it in layman's terms. This is this is so spiritual. <laughs> this is so spiritual right now. Um, I, I'm not I'm, I'm just going to leave it with this. Words mean everything to us in this time, but I realize that actions speak louder than words. So that's what it's about, people. Praying sends a rocket up into the spiritual system. But your actions is the rocket moving in the spiritual realm. So there's a difference. We could talk all day, but action is always going to move mountains. Heavenly Father, I'm asking you on today just to bless us, just to give us the blessings that we need just to give us the, the sustenance that we need. I hope that this message helps someone. I hope that it blessed someone and I hope that they got it because I know that this is deeper than most people are able to swim. So understand that on today, people, I just want to leave y'all with that. Find your order of operation so you can synchronize it with your life. Some people when they pray, they get things instantly. That means you have to work to sustain it. If some people, they pray and then they have to work and work and work and then eventually they get the blessing. Understand that, people, that these things are real. These things are real. This is the power of prayer. Part four. This is your boy, Hallie. It's GVG. We drop episodes every Thursday. Part five will be coming. It will be. Till next time, we out. I love all of y'all. This is the power of prayer. Thank you for being a part of this experience. GVG appreciates every single one of you. I hope you came away from this video with a little more perspective, patience, understanding, and purpose. So until next time, we on Christ time.